So I'm getting ready to start trying to glue these mats together. And I asked for suggestions on the internet. Some people suggested Gorilla Glue. Some suggested caulk. I also bought some silicone while I was there. And this says it's actually made for rubber. So I'm not sure which is going to work. So I'm going to try all of them and see which one works best. By the way, I'm wearing gloves, glasses, and a mask while I do these. And I'm away from the pets. I'm in my front yard and the dogs are locked in the house. I've, I've been told that the Gorilla Glue has an attractant to it. So you definitely don't want it around pets. And I'm just testing out two pieces here with the Gorilla Glue. We'll leave that there. And next I tried the silicone. And even with my mask on, the, the fumes are really strong and I'm outside. So you definitely want to be outside when you try this stuff. Outside and away from your pets. And this was really hard to squeeze out. And it's probably about 75 degrees out. So if it's really cold, you might have a hard time applying this. This one had even stronger fumes. It smells like nail polish remover. It made me a tiny bit dizzy. And like I said, I'm outside even with a mask on. And it must have been a little bit of air in the tube. Because as soon as I popped the seal, some of it bubbled up. So definitely be careful. Okay, so I have two test squares for each thing that I bought. All of them are very fumy, except for the Gorilla Glue. I didn't really smell anything while I was putting it down. Like I said, I was still wearing the mask and gloves, but I didn't smell anything through the mask while I was putting out Gorilla Glue. Everything else made me a little bit nauseous. So far, this strong stick seems to have the best potential. It comes out in a bit glob, but the problem is I've almost used the whole tube just on these two squares. But it looks like after just a couple of minutes, they're already sticking together. And this tube was $3.71. The quick seal was $3.12. It wasn't too easy. That's the caulk. I think if I had a caulking gun, I could probably get the job done pretty quick. And it's not too expensive at less than $4, but a caulking gun costs anywhere from $10 to $20. The Gorilla Goo was $10.97 for an 8 ounce bottle. Silicone was $3.98. And this one was $2.97. So I put something heavy on each section and I'll give it about an hour. Not sure how this is going to work because there's rain in the forecast, but we'll see. All right, it's been about an hour. Let's see how they did. The Gorilla Glue. Okay, that worked. Well, not too good. It pulls apart easily. Maybe it needs more drying time, I don't know. The Loctite for vinyl, fabric, and plastic. And I think the package also said rubber. No good at all. Silicone. Not good. That's even worse than the Gorilla Glue. That was completely... Actually, that's just completely worthless. The strong stick, that's the one that seemed like it was working really well as soon as I started putting it on. Oh, no, that's not working either. It's still pretty wet. That might still work once it dries. It's still really wet. And the quick seal. Oh, worthless. But I'm going to give all of these overnight just in case.